you have any tips for aspiring producers or producers in the audience about what they should do in this kind of fast-changing marketplace? You guys are selling all different types, from big movies to digital. You guys are selling books to original ideas. Like, what, what are a few tips that you might have for people in the audience today? Jeez. That's, <laughs> um, uh, you know, I think, it, I'm curious what you think, but, uh, you know, I, I think we're clearly in a, in, in a marketplace right now with a lot of an uncertainty. Um, and I was just having this conversation with a, a great writer yesterday um, where, you know, the uncertainty cuts both ways. Uncertainty is very scary for certainly the studios and, and a lot of people because there's, there's just, it's not clear what's working unless you have like a Marvel movie. Um, and uh, it's just not clear what's working. A lot of sequels, as people may have been reading lately, are not working and no one's exactly sure why that is. Um, there's probably theories, but, um, but the flip side of it is that no one knows what's really working. So, you know, look, I, I think people should be looking for unique and differentiated um, stories and characters. You know, I mean, Deadpool is a very good example of a film. Maybe that's not everyone's cup of tea, but that, that is a film that could have been just another superhero movie it obviously was not. Um, it broke a lot of rules, R-rated, you know, comic book movie, and it just, you know, it was, in my estimation, it was a fantastic film, um, and that, 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 that's, that's just a different movie. So, uh, you know, Pitch Perfect, again, people look at it, and, and currently, like, oh, Pitch Perfect, of course, but at the time we were putting it together, there wasn't a movie really like this out there. There was Glee, and there was comedies, but no one had done a comedy with awesome music. And it seems maybe to some like a really obvious thing now, but it it definitely wasn't. Um, so it's just, it's not it's not a time to be playing it safe and trying to deliver to audiences um, safe up the middle movies because they are not consistently not working. I mean, Lego is a, is a you know Amazing. Uh, Lego's a, a fan one of the great films of the last several years. I think I'm biased, but. Uh, uh, I suspect you guys are too, but um, but you know Lego could have been just another animated little kids movie, and they, because of the you know the brilliance of Phil and Chris, um, as well as your whole team, I'm sure, um, you know it just was a a redefining movie. So I think the, the, that, these are the aspirations that I think people should look at, be looking on a daily basis. Liz, I want to let you answer in a second, but from my outside perspective, you guys are very material driven, right? And so you guys find material that are under rocks, like that. Surrogates I had never even heard of before when I was a producer. So I think that's the key is finding great material. Yeah. And then you guys do back talent, right? Yeah. So you back directors of mm -hmm. all different levels. So Jason Moore, he hadn't directed a movie before Pitch Perfect, and you guys found him, discovered him, and really built him up to who he is today. Mm -hmm. Even Tommy O'Haver, I remember he was a big director, and then he, I think, had one or, few, one or two movies that didn't work, then he got into TV, became hot, and then you guys are bringing him back again. So from the outside, it seems like you guys are very material driven and then director driven, both on established directors and and the next up and coming person. But I'd be curious what, what your advice is. Yeah, would be. I, it's interesting. We, uh, look, I, I come from this, I, I come to everything from my first job, which is as an actor. And um, meaning that I, I always come to a project as an actor sort of like last, right? You know, once you're there, as, once, you're, once they're casting a movie, they've already done all this background work that we're all here talking about today. And, but when you get there to the set, you see all of the work that got you to that moment. And I just think that uh, you have to be willing to share. I think it's really, for me as an artist, um, sharing. I meet a lot of young producers, a lot of young writers, a lot of you know, aspiring um, uh, filmmakers who go, hold on so tight to their ideas you know, I've got this idea, this is my big idea, this is the one, this is gonna make my career. Uh, uh, but if I send it around, you know, then maybe I won't have as much control over it. Well, guess what? <laughs> you have to give up some control mm -hmm. over ideas, always, because you have to invite collaborators into the process, you have to. So when I go to the set as the actor, I now become the person who knows the character better than the writer, the director, the original, everybody. I knew Effie Trinket better than you know, the creator of The Hunger Games. And that, because that's my job when I get there. And if you trust people to do their jobs really well and you share and you collaborate, I find then 
you get the you get all kinds of amazing brain power that comes together and makes a project. And I meet a lot of young people who are holding on to things, um, in my opinion, a little too tightly.